tonight. A very special Bondi rescue. When you meet the right one, you're not. The ladies' man becomes the sentimental bloke. I've made a massive decision. I, you know, I want to marry her. As Harry's meets his match. He was beautiful. I loved him straight, straight away. Straight away? Yeah. But he needs some help to pop the question. It's looking like the boys won't be ready. There'll be half a sign made and she won't have a clue what's going on. It looks so good. And the trouble with Flat Rock. <laughs> Summer on Bondi, the season of romance. For Bondi's lifeguards, it's also a season of distractions. <laughs> I'm a Bondi lifeguard. It makes it extremely hard. There's kryptonite everywhere on the beach. You'd be dating one and another stunning lady would walk out in front of you and you'd be thinking, what do I do now? For years, Harry's has never been one to settle down. Hey, girl. How's it going? But all along, he was a sentimental bloke at heart. I was kind of seeing myself as a bit of a ladies' man, a bit of a gigolo. I was out there doing me thing. He sort of never really has ever settled down with one girl and he's sort of been all over the shop for years. And He's probably broken a few hearts along the way, but, um, yeah, he's a bit of his ladies' man. But Harry's has had a recent change of heart. I never thought I would fall in love. 28-year-old Emily works in fashion. She met Harry's on a blind date. One of my Iron Man mates and his girlfriend set us up on a blind date, and this lady was just so beautiful. She's won my heart because I tell you, she's always smiling. I've never been on a blind date before, and I would never go on one. It's not really me to go on a blind date. But it was good. Best thing I ever did. Here we go. It's very energetic, very loving. He was beautiful. I loved him straight, straight away. Straight away? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And Harry's is certain this is no summer romance. I've made a massive decision. I, I want to marry her. <laughs> I can't even believe. Never thought I'd ever say those words. I'm never going to meet someone so beautiful. So you got to lock in. Harry's is making plans to pop the question. But it's not as simple as dropping down on one knee. He's mentioned something about a helicopter or... Oh, to tell you the truth, I don't know. You never really know what he's talking about. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's, he's got some grand plan. There you go. <laughs> i tell you what, you know, in, in all honesty, you know, I, I am nervous. The young and the restless have a favourite meeting spot at Bondi, Flat Rock. Where the boys show off. And so do the girls. Young love can blossom. But there's a far more likely outcome. Hannah and her friends are from a local boarding school. You haven't been on Flat Rock, have you? No. Yeah. You have? Maybe. Oh, yeah, I've got a guess coming. <laughs> Turn into that. Yeah. Unreal. <laughs> it's a good tiger claw, that one. Yeah. What happened? Um, it's got cleaned um, up by a... Well, there was road. just a big wave and it just kind of dragged me across the rocks for a bit. This is just a bit of a wave. Oh, It's going to be a bit sore for a couple of days, I think. Today, the wound is only skin deep. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Okay, have a good Life day. Thank you. Thank you. Lifeguards know it won't be long before Flat Rock extracts another pound of flesh. Harry's marriage proposal is just a week away. He's keen to look his best, but Kerbox has other plans. He loves his physique, loves his appearance, and we've sneakily got him to the salon here to have some fun with him. Hoppo and Kerbox have convinced Harry's to top up his tan before the proposal. We're going to get him in the booth, we're going to strip him, 
we're going to spray him. But they omitted one important fact. Unfortunately, it's going to be the wrong colour. We're going to nail him. <laughs> He's been a little bit pale or summer hasn't been that good, so I thought yeah. I'd shout him up here. I'll just get you to put on this G-string. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, what have you got me into here? <laughs> That's a breathing apparatus. <laughs> That's for SARS. <laughs> I can't put that over me. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. That looks good. You can't be serious. Yes. <laughs> Mate, you need a lot of work. <laughs> With blacked out goggles and close to nude, Harry's couldn't be more vulnerable. We're just going for the natural look? Yep, just natural. That's, is that low? Pardon? That's low, isn't it? Yeah, that's low enough. Yeah, you'll be right. Yeah. Make your bum nice and brown. <laughs> Looking good, Harry's. I nearly peed my pants because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> yeah, I could have worked on for a lot. <laughs> Harry's retreats to the showers. Why are you doing? Only to find more hecklers. What do you need to spray it here for? You work on a beach. <laughs> can you? Yeah, get your rig out. No, I'm, seriously, I have Come to go. On. Get your Just give us a quick look. I've got to go. Oh, I'm having a Where are you going, mate? Oh, Smurf. You never see him angry, but he's quite clearly angry, isn't he? No, he's fuming. Yeah. <laughs> he's blue. He looks like a Smurf. No, I just tell us quickly what happened. Oi, I still look that much better than you. <laughs> <laughs> you look awful. Bondi leaves another indelible mark. But the notorious Flat Rock scars more than most. Two swimmers come to the tower. Yeah, he's his shoulder. Is this he's okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. So where is he? He's right out amongst the rocks, is he? Yeah. Dislocated shoulder at uh, Flat Rock, so the boys are going to venture onto the road and hoon up there. This rescue is in one of the most difficult locations. Sean took his chances on Flat Rock, but turned his back on the ocean. He wasn't really looking, his wave That's came over him, then he was just on the ground. Like, oh. Nice pain. Eight out of ten. Nine. If we give you pain relief, we'd have to call an amber. The green whistle offers powerful relief. We can't release you after we give you this. But if 19-year-old Sean takes it, he must go to hospital. I'd recommend calling an ambulance, though. Oh. So people you like this? Yes. Yes. If I get the pain relief but and I try and pull it back, no? Oh, I wouldn't try and pull it back, no. You might, you're just going to do more damage. Uh, yeah, we'll have an ambulance out here. We've got a male with a dislocated left shoulder. Yeah. I'm calling from the lifeguard tower, but the lifeguards yeah. are out on flat rock. It's a bad dislocation. Oh, I just chucked this in your mouth. Nice deep breath. Sean's learnt a painful lesson, but his friends haven't. They take their chances on flat rock while Sean waits for paramedics. Keep holding that. You hold it. You use the other arm, then. prefer to be this one. And then when we start getting a decent effect, we'll take you up to the car. Managing a stretcher up the cliff is near impossible. Sean must walk. Listen, listen to me. Because we're in such a, an area like this, the best way for you is to walk out and I'll hold it, OK? The green whistle isn't providing enough relief. Alright, when we get you in the car, we'll give you something. Yeah, he's getting there. I don't know what the attraction is, seriously. It's like they jump off and get washed back up and get cut up and dislocate your arm and it's not like you're surfing and pulling a barrel or anything, but I don't know, the kids seem to love it. Hey, it's such a lovely day. We should go out and play. People do crazy things for love. 
Oh, yeah. And Harry's proves it better than anyone. With his blue period behind him, the veteran lifeguard is working on his lofty plan. I'm going up into a helicopter above Bondi. I'm going to drop on one knee <laughs> and say, marry me, Em. Hope this comes off. Finding space to kneel in a chopper isn't the only challenge. Ring, check, got that. Ring Emily's father, check, yep. He'd let me marry his daughter, that's even better. Organising the boys, no. I can't do this alone. I'm going to need your help, boys. I'm going to need you to hold the sign up on the beach. I just, I'm just hoping that it, this works, because if this don't work and the helicopter comes above and it's just got marry, <laughs> and it's not marry me, Am, or oh, my God. Dino has played the sentimental bloke before. Five years ago, he popped the question to his girlfriend, Lily, at Bondi. What are you doing? Lily, I love you oh. so much. <laughs> You're kidding, huh? I need to go. Did the sex. I want you to marry me. I was myself when I did it. Um, there's a lot of pressure, a lot to organise, a lot to coordinate. <laughs> Harry's proposal is far more complicated. The plan is to write Marry Me on the beach so Emily can see it from the air. But will it work? Good friends Azza and Yatesy are enlisted to help. Can I leave my life in your hands? Do you want me to do this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Maybe we could really yeah. stuff him up. <laughs> Please. All right, I promise. I'll be here. I'll need all the boys in their uniform. Obviously, so it sticks out on the beach. And then when she sees everyone waving and she puts two and two together, and she, she studied journalism so she can read. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be kind of going, ah, e, ah, ah. what's that sign? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> He's like a cat on acid. He doesn't sit still. He jumps up and around all day. And you don't understand a word that comes out of his mouth. What's that thing? Is that an M? Look like an A. Look at the fucking B. What's this? What's this one again? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's terrible. I can't even, you know, how, how do you distinguish what that um, is? You cannot read it. Do you really reckon that looks all right? Yeah. From above, that's going to look amazing. When Harry's and Emily take to the air the next day, and uh, all the pressure will be on Yatesy. I've got to put it up. <laughs> Freaking out. This is the best. This is a heavy burden you put on me out of the blue, mate. I'm not happy. With the test run complete, it's time to inspect it from above. What are you reckon? Huh? We might be going to plan B. <laughs> I don't want her asking me what are all those boards on the beat. Take me back to the sweet times, the hot nights. Everything is going to be all right in the summertime. Baby, in the summertime, that is where I'll be. Let's go do this. Oh, yeah. He's going to come around here and then hover above the sign that we're just about to make and yeah. propose to him. And then he wants the last day waving. Real cheesy. This is James from Bondi Emily. Helicopters. Hello, how are you? This is Emily. Nice to meet you. Come in, guys. Emily thinks she's going on a joy flight. Emily, we'll get you a safety brief with Bruce in the yep. lounge there. Harry's going to give me a hand pulling out the helicopter. Yeah, he uh, asked about that earlier. <laughs> when they reach Bondi, Harry's plans to propose with a message in the sand. Problem is, there's no sign yet. It's going to take us ages. We're going to hurry. I, I, we need help. There's just one hour before the chopper arrives. So we're digging these ladders out? While M gets briefed, Harry gets nervous. Oh, I'm feeling the nerves right now. You're right, mate? Yeah, I'm all right. Then there's the precious cargo. I think we might have to weigh that to put in the helicopter. Oh, right? yeah. I don't know. I hope we get it done before he gets here. Time is running out. Harry's wanted everything done by 7.30. It's pretty much 10 to 8 now. And uh, we've got 
four letters made in the sand. Up we go, guys. Wow! It's looking like the boys won't be uh, ready. There'll be half a, half a sign made and she won't have a clue what's going on. To add to the stress, Bondi's legion of joggers have no time for love. Please watch our letters. Hey! Oh. <laughs> wow. The chopper is 10 minutes away. But the sign is far from finished. Backup arrives. Is looking. I need help. Off I come dig, mate. You gotta be there for your mates. What do you reckon, eh? Loving this? Loving it. <laughs> As the letters take shape, something else becomes much more obvious. You can't see it, can you? How can we tell if it works or you can't? It's going to get high enough. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do? It could be the most obscure marriage proposal ever undertaken. You need colour, mate. You can't see that. Until Kerbox comes up with a last-minute solution. <laughs> Looks a bit bodgy, but it's, it's going to have to do. As Emily's friends and family arrive, Harry's very public proposal is only getting bigger. He's like, mate, she's the best thing ever. I love her to death. I'm going to ask her to marry me. Like... Yeah, after like a month he said this. So yeah. we were like, oh, well, we'll see, we'll see. I was like quietly cautious and then... Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> we've tried to put marry me in the sand, so we couldn't work it out. We've dug trenches. Now we've put the toilet paper in. We're hoping that's going to stand out. But uh, I don't know, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. I thought maybe from the sky they could see it, but yeah. toilet paper. <laughs> Well, I'm building my house. <laughs> that looks so good. The star-crossed lovers are minutes away from Bondi. My Bondi Beach will be down to 500 feet. And from Harry's audacious marriage proposal. Against the odds, project manager Yatesy has completed the sign with minutes to spare. Hey, Mouse, we are someone getting married. <laughs> <laughs> There's even been time for a romantic addition. At the moment, we've got a few of the lads um, doing, a, doing a heart around the, um, with the witch's hats around the, the letters. But a big question remains. Will Emily see it from a 1,000 feet? Years of management planning has taught the boss to make sure there is a fallback. I knew it would be a shit fight, so what I, I knew I'd have a backup plan just in case. So what I did, I went and got a sign made up. So we can just lay in the sand and we can all stand around and oh, see you do it properly, mate. Sure. You're a... Oh, really? What? So you reckon that'll work better than your little digging holes? Oh, oh, didn't, you yeah. didn't you trust me? I've been digging for half an hour. More. The guys got a bit upset that I've been standing here watching them for 45 minutes, digging their trenches and putting their toilet paper down. And I think with the, uh, the marry me up on the, on the top, it's really going to uh, have the effect from where the helicopter's going to be. <laughs> I think it's fabulous. I think it's what they've done is perfect. Toilet paper is good. <laughs> my stomach's in knots, but I'm very excited for my sister. Signs in place. Crowd assembled. Cameras rolling. Now it's all up to the sentimental bloke. Oh, look at the tower. No way. The tower. Oh my god. Ah. Look at it. What's down? Wow. M? Yeah. Oh. Will you marry me, Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Oh 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 my, oh, my oh, my gosh. 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 O
I couldn't think of anything else that would be better than being with you. You are the closest thing to heaven, darling. Aww. You are. You are. You really are. You're a gift. You're a gift. Oh, yeah! Dallas! <laughs> 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 Yay! Thanks, Emma. I never thought, Emma. I never thought we'd be doing this if you wanted to. You don't know what you've got yourself into. Uh, <laughs> could you see it from up there? What you could see clearly. I, if I, I just want to say, like, that was. It is the greatest moment ever in my life to have all you guys down here. It means everything. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I can't believe it. Set up on a blind date. <laughs> and this cowboy's off the market. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, surf rage. But who's at fault? I know if someone's coming for a wave, we'll get it out of the way. Unlucky lifeguard Mouse. His pants fell off and then he spewed on me. Versus lucky lifeguard Matt D. <laughs> and a rat in the ranks. <laughs>